During the early Ming Dynasty, a tale of gold could buy 750 kilograms of good rice. It was three months' pay for a county magistrate in the early Qing Dynasty, as well as the cost of a single floor tile. These floor tiles were made with a kind of special clay, which was heavily processed and then exposed to the elements for a year to remove its earthy quality. The clay was then soaked in water and poured into a sedimentation pond. The sediment was filtered, sun-dried, trampled on, and beaten. The clay was processed into a thick paste. This paste was used to make the gold floor tiles. The mold was made of wood. The clay was put in a mold and trampled on to compact it. The two sides of clay were leveled with a wooden stick. The tiles then dried in a cool, shady place for eight months. The raw tiles were then baked for a month to remove the moisture, followed by baking in hotter and hotter fires for a total of 130 days. Workers then poured water into the kiln to lower the temperature. After four or five days, the tiles were removed. Any small mistake during the process could ruin all the tiles in the kiln. The baked tiles then had to be shaped, polished, and soaked in tung oil. One worker could only finish three tiles a day. The so-called gold floor tiles are inscribed with the year of manufacture, measurements, production site, and producer. A court official made a strict inspection of the floor tiles, choosing just one of four. The rest were destroyed. These expensive tiles were only used in the halls frequented by the emperor. They were not used in most of the buildings in the Forbidden City. Because of all the time and work that went into making the tiles, they were truly worth their weight in gold. 
It might take four years to build a palace, but it takes nearly two years just to make the gold floor tiles. The tiles are the epitome of craftsmanship and efficient production.